Hello, it's good again. Alright, so <clears throat> this tutorial is going to be teaching you how to make a very, 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 I'll say that a couple t more times, maybe very, very, very simple signature. So we're going to start out by opening up a new document. <clears throat> now, I have a, a preset saved. It's 350 by 100, 100 height. 350 pixels width. So go ahead and open that up. Make sure it has a transparent background. I mean, you don't have to, but it always helps. <coughs> okay. Oh, my computer's running a little slow today, so hang in there with me. I just started up. So, okay. Now we're gonna start out. We want like a background. So on this layer one, we'll just double click here and name it background. And you know we'll we'll do a nice uh, gradient. I guess we'll go just black to white. And let's see how that looks. Now that, do white at top, black at bottom. That just gives you kind of more of a lighting. Maybe give you a little more depth. Now we now we gotta find ourselves like a, a nice um, maybe render or something. We'll, we'll start out teaching with renders because you know they're pretty much easier to use. Stocks are, are kind of harder to work with, so we'll, like I said, we'll do a render. Just like I said, hang in there with me. It's running slow. It's running slow. Okay, I think I have my render pack in here. Yeah, we can just go in here and resource pack. This is something I downloaded. Um, renders, and you know, we'll pick a nice looking one. Maybe like this one. This one you could do some cool stuff with. It's from Bleach, I guess. I don't know who... I don't watch Bleach. I don't watch Manga, but we'll just, dra just dra click and drag it in here. A render is an image with the background cut out. So, I, I give credit for this to Game Over, like this says. I, I'm just going to take that out because we don't need it. So we'll just, you know, cut, cut and paste it out. Whatever, just select it and and then delete usually you know stuff like that okay so now press V on your keyboard that'll give you this moving thing hey Orlando what's up what's up my fool alright so just click and drag this up in here you probably are using CS3 so you might have to figure that out I don't have CS3 anymore FCS4. Ha oh, I'm better than you. Alright, so press Control and T on your keyboard. That's going to give you this transform thing. And that's basically just going to let you lower the size. You, I'm holding Shift and dragging down to make it a different size. So we'll get it something like that. And it's, it looks kind of awful right now. But as soon as you hit Enter, it cleans it up a bit. So it looks pretty cool. So, now we want to do some smudging. Smudging, you guys are going to love this. So, this is going to turn out to be a long video, but anyway, we'll do some smudging. You go here, it should be selected on this eye drop, or this little drop. Click and hold on that, and then you'll see this little smudge tool. That's the money right there. Now, you won't have any smudge brushes, so I'll show you with... We'll, we'll try a 5 pixel hard brush. We want the hard brush, not not this soft faded brush. We want the hard brush. So get the hard hardness 100 and stuff like that. Now, hold on. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and to see when you smudge like this, it it's kind of just like, you know, not very not very cool. So, we'll just go ahead and Go back a little bit. Oh snap! Hold up. I gotta go forward now. Um, step forward. Okay. Now we're gonna want to do some scattering. Now the way you do that, this thing may not be here. So go up here to window <coughs> and click on brushes. Now to bring up this little window here. Now you can click here, but we probably don't need to. You could do size jitter, I guess. Maybe angle jitter, but it's not going to do much for you. What we want to do is scattering. So click on this little tab here and bring up your scatter just a little bit. 
I don't know, that small of a rush, that's all we need, something like that. And then maybe do a count jitter up somehow. The jitter means that it's going to be random. It's going to randomly ca change the count. So we'll just, you know, click and drag. See how it kind of gives it that nice little effect. And this is going to help with blending. Blending is nice. Is a nice um, concept. It helps you blend the the lines between your your render and your. Uh, hold on. It helps you, you know, cover up. Oh damn! Hold on. Let me bring in him again. I guess. Uh, See, I'm, I just got on, so I'm not warmed up yet. So, you know, you're going to want to duplicate this. So don't don't take a step forward yet. You want to duplicate him. What we'll do is we'll just hide this other... We'll just delete this last layer. Hit enter, and then we'll just delete this last layer. Because it, it's not the same size, and it's going to cause problems. So duplicate this guy. You click and drag him down to this little icon right next to the trash can. Don't do the trash can because it'll delete it. But we're going to hide this top one. So click on the little eyeball there. Make sure this one's selected. And then go back to your smudge tool. But we're just going to kind of smudge them up out a little bit. Like I was saying, blending is a good is a good technique to blur the lines between the render and what you've added in to the signature itself. And we wanna, it adds a nice effect. We're going to do this a couple times. This one, just leave it on normal up here. And then we're going to go to the eyeball. And then we're going to copy this one again. Hide this top one again on this middle one. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll smudge him some more. Maybe bring up your strength a little bit. And then add some more randomness into the image. You only really need to to do the outsides, and this is going to add some really cool effects to the to the signature. And then when you, you make this top one visible, we'll keep this one. Um, on this middle one, we can make it lighten. So just click here where it says normal. We'll put that on lighten. That'll add a nice little effect. Now it looks pretty cool so far because we've blended a little bit. Now what we might want to do is maybe you know think about going in with some other stuff but for now seeing as you guys are, are noobs you know this is pretty cool for you I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and you know go show off to your friends because I know you guys don't want you you guys don't want to and then you can tune in for the second half of this tutorial I'll I won't I'll post both at the same time I promise so you don't have to wait <coughs> but it's gonna get long so the first half is done. Next half will be putting in a C4D, Cinema 4D. That's what the, they just call it a C4D. But the program they use to make it is called Cinema 4D. And it's a really cool program that lets you, um, well, we're not going to be using it, but it's we're going to use the files that are made from that. And it's kind of like random and it adds a cool element to the background. <clears throat> and maybe I'll, I'll put a link to one of them. In in the description up in over here somewhere around this where where my mice my mouse is, but for now we're done. So I'll see you guys in a couple minutes, more like a minute for you, but I don't know. All right, bye.